Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Tulum, Mexico. And uh, today's topic, we are going to talk about actually the upcoming free online, the seven day uh, global workshop that I'm going to be retreat actually, I'm going to be offering is rebirth a new you when we become quiet and we shift our attention inwards towards the source of who we are which does not require any kind of action okay let me repeat this part this part you're not this understanding of coming into a deeper level of consciousness does not require action. And it's like, what do you mean? It's beyond action. It requires attention. You have to pay attention. That's why the system constantly destroys your attention. So you can't focus. You're going crazy, thinking about a million different things, wanting to be in a million different places all the time. Because you find here very boring and dull. You find it dull. It's been planted as a seed in your mind that here is boring and dull. On the contrary, the magic is here. The real magic of life is here. And he who has recognized that has come to the wisdom. It's a recognition. Here is where you are born again. Here is where you can reinvent yourself. All of it happens from here. But it takes a wise man to learn to be here. Most people on the planet, they have a very hard time being here. Therefore, they suffer. Suffering happens to those who can't be here and recognize the beauty and the magic of this moment. It's this moment is vast. It's infinite. It's going through infinity. This moment is beyond the mind understanding because the mind cannot understand it. The mind wants to box it into a little place so it can make a definition of it. So it can make a color out of it. It can explain it and manipulate it. Specifically manipulate it so it benefits you. The mind wants to do that. How am I going to use this? How am I going to use spirituality like the pseudo spirituality which is being taught today? False teachings being taught today around the world, teaching people how to manifest things, how to use the power of intention how to visualize, how to use words. It's all a system of manipulation. It's false spirituality. It's not truth. Because what it does is activate your mind that heaven, kingdom of heaven, happiness, is in a future moment outside of here. But come to me, my friend, 
and I teach you how you can organize your mind, how you can think positively, how you can use your power of mind to get what you want. To manipulate that man that is your soulmate to come to you. To manipulate that situation that life gives you money. To manipulate people to do what you want them to do. Come to me. Let me teach you how you use your mind. How you can organize your thoughts. By visualizing. Visualization. Verbalization. Having intention. We make this intention holy. We're going to set our intention to save the world and have a better world. But first, I want to get what I want. Do you realize where you're going? How you're falling into this abyss that is never going to take you anywhere. And look what has happened. This mind, this ill mind, sick mind, look what it's created. This pandemic with all the stories of it is a manifestation of an ill mind. It's a sick mind that has created it. And now existence has to create this situation, whatever it is, to wake us up. Not to wake up that there's outside powers that Illuminati or powers that they want to take over humanity. That's not the main thing. It appears to be that way. No. The main part of it is the self-realization of coming back, return, and rebirth. This is all about being born again. Do you want to be born to who you think you are? Do you want to be born into this miserable thing who's always needy, who's always afraid of everything? I mean, we've played this game for thousands of years. How many times do we want to play this game again? Aren't you sick of it? Where did you get? I mean, where are you now in your life? Where am I? Thirty years ago, forty years ago, did you think your life is going to be like this? Is this what you envision your life to be, honestly? Did you think you're going to be here? Is this your idea of manifesting your life? You're happy with your body? Are you happy with your looks? Are you happy with your past? Are you happy with your love relationships? Are you happy with your children? Are you happy with your environment? Are you getting what you want? Is this the life? 40, 50, 60 years ago when you were 15 years old, 8 years old, 9 years old, 18 years old, when you were excited and you were going to school and did you envision this? Is this what you want to be and have? If this is it, then keep going and doing what you're doing. I don't know. I don't know if you're happy or you're not happy. Okay, so I'm not insulting anybody. Don't take me wrong. I'm just being straightforward because, you know, on this platform, I'm not the kind of a teacher who does fool around. You know, I'm very straightforward. I even make fun of myself. 